sorry about this computer. Okay. And share the screen. Dot. Okay. So, so far we have uh, three people signed up for uh, Webster. Um, and then I think Nari said when I talked to her, she did say she's okay with either one. So we could have Irma and Nari do Marshall. Um, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but I was gonna wait and see what happens with everyone uh, once they all come in. Okay. Judy, can you hear us? Can, oh, uh, Miss Judy to Earth or Earth to Miss Judy? <laughs> have lost her. I got something new and cool added to the workbook. Oh yeah? What's that? You gonna tell us? <laughs> so, so it's not a muscle man anymore, it's a muscle person, muscle figure. <laughs> or what can we call it? Um, strong man, a strong Oh, hero, something hero? Uh, hero, uh, a uh, avatar, a uh, muscle person, muscle figure. Um, so it's it's not, it doesn't have any gender. So they can make it any gender they want. <laughs> yeah, th but this would be the printed workbook. Uh, we already have it for this year. It will be for next year. They will print it. And, and I'm thinking of actually putting the uh, picture into the online workbook too, somehow. They can't do anything with it, but at least they can see it. So. Um, that that's that's gonna be there. There's uh, there's this lady. Um, she started uh, talking to me. Uh, she's in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, she's a she's taught in college. She's doing a lot of stuff. Uh, she's actually gonna start uh, working with uh, doing a pilot program with like six or seven kids in her area. And um, she's actually gone through the facilitator manual with. Uh, as she's reading it and she says, Alex, this doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense. I said, Debbie, because we don't use the facilitator manual. We hardly ever use that thing. So, but it's good. And uh, I said, all right, I guess it's time to change the muscle man to a uh, muscle person, muscle figure or something because we've had to see. So there actually, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background. Um, there is that, Debbie is doing that. There's a lady in, uh, uh, in, uh, Vancouver, Canada. Um, she's going to start teaching her kids and do stuff. There is a lady in uh, Toronto, Canada. She's doing an app. I mean, she was start, she started doing an app, but she wants to incorporate our program into it. Um, so we'll see that. We'll see how that goes. I haven't, the reason I haven't shared this because I uh, wasn't sure if she's serious about it. It seems to be serious, but and then still a lot of uh, stuff happening overseas, um, talking to a lot of different people and nothing solid yet, but we'll see uh, what happens. So I see Jade is there. Uh, Jade, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, all right, because other people are having difficult time. There's Miss Judy, okay. Hazel, okay. We, have, we finally have your video. You're not in it, but you have your video. Hi, everybody. Hi, Jade. Uh, Ms. Banks, there's are you talking? Judy. There's Hazel. Hazel, we can see your background. And Judy, I think, still trying to figure out how to unmute or something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's let's keep going. I'm I'm recording the session, so if uh, anybody cannot hear. All right, guys, uh, so uh, let's start with the schedule that we have, uh, the tentative schedule that we have for our classes. As mentioned, uh, Marshall is confirmed for Thursdays, um, and uh, they just confirmed the time. So it's going to be from 10 to 11. Uh, Barry and I are meeting with the teachers at Webster right after this. Um, so hopefully we will confirm with them as, uh, what's going on, uh, what times and so forth. Um, uh, I think, uh, prob I, if I remember correctly, Nari said she could do either one of those days. So it will be Nari and Irma. Irma could not come in today. I don't know where Nari and Imani are. Uh, they said they were going to join, but haven't seen them yet. Uh, and then we'll see how we're going to, uh, do the, uh, the three, 
uh, who put their name in for uh, Webster. We'll see how we're going to do that after this conference. I was going to tell you, Alex, that if you needed another leader for Marshall, I can do it. I just can't do that time. So if it was later on in the day, I would be able to yeah. do it. Okay. No, no, that's fine. I think, I think we are okay. Irma and uh, Nari, that should, because that's their time. Usually, you know how it is. They, they dictate what time we can do. I know. Uh, <laughs> but, but at least when Barry and I met with them, we did say that, you know, we're hoping that you take this on eventually. And that was kind of like news to them. It's like, yeah, we've never The two teachers, that, well, I don't know how many, if it's the same two teachers, but. It is. They, I mean, they know the program inside yep. and out. They, sh they should be able to do it on their own. Exactly. They're the same. Uh, Mr. Pernario and Mr. It's, uh, it's about. It's about, yeah. So anyway, that's the schedule. Once we talk with Webster today, we'll confirm who's going to be doing what. And then as, as mentioned in the email, there would be at least one assistant uh, in every classroom. Uh, I'll try to be in as many as I can just to for technical support and whatever else we need and just kind of see what's happening. Uh, but we will have we'll have everyone engaged. So we won't leave uh, anybody between the four classes. We'll make sure that everyone is engaged. So for at least for the learning process. Uh, that's on the schedule. There's going to be a lot of unknowns of how we're going to do this, how it's going to happen. When we talked with uh, the two teachers at Marshall, um, they're still, as you can imagine, they're still trying to figure out this whole system. They did a couple of weeks uh, uh, back in May, uh, but they're rethinking stuff, doing, like one of the things we were thinking about is, can the students pull up, can they see, uh, should we ask them to pull up their workbook online while we are presenting? Uh, so these are what you see on the screen of different ideas that uh, Barry and I so far have put together. Uh, there are a bunch of suggestions, just uh, thinking out loud and then questions uh, that we can kind of look at. Uh, I'll just go through them and then stop me at any point of time or I'll just stop. Uh, so we really need to keep the kids engaged uh, because definitely they cannot sit there for one hour and just listen to us. Um, uh, as usual, discussing the exciting things about uh, what's happening. Uh, I don't know that uh, they, when we asked them, did they say they had open mic or did they have the students to use chat? Do you remember? No, they, they, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. they can have open mic, but generally, at least I know this is that quarter when I was participating with the, uh, with the class there at the end of last year, uh, she had them all muted and uh, had them use the chat. And then she would unmute them whenever she wanted someone to be, you know, for a student to be heard. Okay. And I think that would be a perfect uh, task for the assistant to do. Uh, so the way it's going to work, the teachers are, we are using the school Zoom. Uh, the teachers will make uh, any of us who are going to be on the call as co-host. Uh, so we will also be able to mute and unmute kids. But remember, when we unmute someone, uh, we're just telling them to unmute themselves. It's not like uh, uh, we can just completely do it. Uh, I think that's that's how it is. So uh, I think that's in in that's not accurate for the school. Is it okay? Because they have the means by which they can mute all the students. That that's true. Yeah, the co-host can't. Mute can't. Them. As a co-host, you can't mute all. You you can do it individually but not, there's not like a select all mute like there is for the host. You can unmute them individually and mute them individually, but in terms of selecting all to mute the entire classroom, you won't be able to do that as a co-host. Okay, so let me, okay, so Jade, I'm gonna make you a co-host. Just did that. Now, if I try to, I'm gonna try to, let's see, who would do that? I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna mute Hazel, uh, ask to, See, when I try to unmute Hazel, I can say, ask to unmute, but then she would have to unmute herself. Right, Hazel? You see it? Can you unmute yourself? I can't, you, you gotta unmute yourself now. So I can just click to unmute her. Uh, well, let's, let's try it. Because when I say unmute, it says ask to unmute. No, so it just, it doesn't say ask. It's just, I click unmute and I can unmute her. That's, uh, yes. Uh, it says, okay. it says uh, the host would like for you to mute or unmute. Yeah, Jane, I don't think we can unmute individuals. So 
Go, go ahead and try. Jade, why don't you go ahead and mute Hazel and then try to unmute her. Okay, so I just muted her. Okay, now try to unmute. And then I unmuted her. No, she's still muted. Yeah, she has to do it. Hazel, you gotta, you gotta click unmute. Uh, Hazel, you gotta unmute yourself. Okay, go. now I've unmuted. Yeah. So when I clicked unmute, Hazel, something in a box didn't pop up for you? No, that's what I'm saying. They, it said the host has muted you, and then it's telling me to unmute myself. You want to try it again? Well, it's not the muting part. The muting part happens without any permission. Yep. I mm -hmm. can mute her without any permission. It's yep. when I click unmute, exactly. then something should pop up on her screen mm -hmm. saying the host would like to unmute you. She just has to click the box to unmute it. Yep. So hands up, go ahead and click the box. There we go. So I, I think I think the uh, unless if uh, schools are setting up any differently, I think that's how it is. But we will have control over muting and unmuting, and th this is actually going to be helpful because we will remember the kids' names, which I always have trouble with because you can see their names on the front. <laughs> <laughs> that's always my challenge. Uh, all right, uh, so. Uh, going back to uh, these guys, Groundlers, each session, uh, this is another idea, each session. So we are not giving them uh, the treasure boxes, I forgot to say. We've already sent workbooks, the printed workbooks home at Marshall. Um, so the kids are going to have it. Uh, they won't, they don't have the treasure boxes. The treasure boxes is going to be a trophy at the end. I mean, everybody will get it, but we felt that since we are not, that they don't have play money to put it in. It would be a distraction, but this will also be something that they will look forward uh, to getting at the end. But then every session we can show the treasure boxes and decorate the treasure box. And if you don't have one, I can get, get you one. We got plenty of them in the storage. Uh, so that's how the treasure boxes are going to work. Any question on that? Or any comments? Anything? Should, what are your thoughts? I think that's, that's a good idea. I wouldn't give them the boxes until the end. Yeah, I think yeah. Exactly. So for Webster, I guess we missed the uh, initial distribution of supplies. Uh, Barry, did uh, Carmi says when they're going to distribute next? He didn't know exactly when that would be, but okay. he asked that we get the materials to him this week. Okay. All right. So I still need to do that so we don't miss it out. I mean, we'll uh, just confirm everything today, and I can go drop it off as early as tomorrow. Now, okay. Webster. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say, I wanna go back to the, the box a minute, the treasure box. Okay. So I, I think that we could actually uh, play, utilize it. The facilitators can utilize it at every session. We can actually show putting the money in, even though the students won't have it, right? Mm -hmm. And that it's, it's held as a, you said trophy, right, Alex? At yeah. the end, but it, it's like, um, it's like, what, what's going to be the criteria for them to get the boxes at the end? Is there going to be anything? Or are no, we just I think they all should just get it, right? They're, they're like, all... everybody should get a trophy no matter what. Well, then, then, <laughs> then, well, then let's not call it a trophy. Yeah, let's not call it a trophy. Yeah, because that, that's misconceiving. Uh, it's not like a participation trophy, but I yeah. don't think we had rules in terms of, like, students getting the treasure box to start out with in terms of when we were in person in the classroom. So I don't think that now we should implement something mm -hmm. where some students wouldn't get a treasure box. It, it could be that this is like, as part of their completing the classroom, they'll receive another tool uh, to now manage their real money. Uh, so in class, we are just doing virtual money into the register, uh, into the register books, online register books. And then at the end, along with the uh, certificate of completion, they'll also get a box uh, that they can put real money in there. Yeah, let's not call it a trophy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll take that back. <laughs> You're creating problems, Alex. I know, see, that's why I have you guys to just kind of put me in my place. <laughs> All right, are we good? Can we move on? Yep. All right, uh, so we talked about that. Uh, there's a suggestion to move the creativity to session two. Uh, Barry, this was your idea. Why did they want to do that? 
Well, I just had the thought that, you know, the kids really like to share their talents uh, okay. for the most part. Okay. <laughs> I know it could be a, di a difficulty if, in fact, it turns out that none of them do, but for the most part, I find that they do. Okay. And, um, and a lot of them are, have, has to do with uh, art. They like to draw, they like to share about their drawing. So I thought if we had, you know, the first session would be the human treasure. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second one rather before patience would be the creativity. And that then we could every week uh, determine what students will be sharing their creativity, their talent rather, sharing their talent uh, in, at the next session as a way to have you know, to keep them engaged and, and, and interested in wanting to find out what other kids are doing or what they're going to be doing like that. that just an right. idea. It's just an idea I had. Yeah, yeah, that's Mary, that's I that's actually that's think that it's a great idea to split up the actual sharing of the talents individually to, throughout the course of the program as opposed to just having, especially from a virtual standpoint, having everything being shared in one session at the end. But I do think that we should still keep the rest of the part of the creativity lesson at the end, if that makes sense. So just kind of introduce more like a sharing time than necessarily have the entire creativity session moved up to the beginning, just because I think that there's other components of the program from a mental standpoint that are addressed in terms of leading up to the concepts that are taught in creativity that students might not fully understand in session two. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's great. So it's like putting our thinking caps on and coming up with what could we have them be sharing throughout the session. The other thing yeah, so it's just like they're, they're sharing each, each so a couple of students will have the opportunity to share Miss Judy, were you going to say something? Oh. No, that was me, Nari. Um, so Jade, I know you, I, 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 totally, I totally get what you're saying, um, but would we teach part of it to, to, to make it, for them to understand why we're asking them to share? Like we'd have to teach enough of the creativity lesson to get them excited about sharing their creativity, right? Um, so if you... I, yeah, and I hear you. I think the, the parts of it that I'm more concerned about teaching up front are the parts where they're like then expounding upon creating business ideas and entrepreneurship that I just don't think that early on. Right. They're no. going to, they're going to get. Yeah. I totally agree. So, and in fact, what I was thinking when we talked about it was, I think it's a great idea, Barry, to do it that way, especially in this format. And what I was thinking was, that means... Um, we'd have to leave enough time at the end, not only for the students to share, but then for us to talk about what they shared, hopefully within the context of whatever that week's lesson was. So let's say the lesson is patience or moderation or something. Maybe then we could talk about, or if, if, not, if we can't connect it directly with the lesson, then we can connect it with. Um, so what's a way, you know, that, you know, Sally, you know, Sally's art, could possibly turn into something in the future that she'd be able to contribute, you know, whether financially, et cetera, and get them sort of engaged. So I think, I think it would be a better way for us to be able to take the time to really talk to them about how creativity translates into mind treasures, translates um, into financial success or a career, et cetera, um, and without trying to put it all in that one lesson. But we'd also have to have enough time at the end, like well, even if it was just five or ten minutes, to do that. Remember, we don't we we don't have the time of putting money into the treasure boxes. Right. So that's where that some of that time could be used. Exactly. We also only have sixty minutes. Yeah, but we've done sixty minutes before. Porter used to be sixty minutes, and it was always a push. But but we do have the extra time now. So uh, can I can I share something? I think maybe what we can do, um, yeah, thinking that we don't have the uh, the treasure boxes. I mean, we're still doing the register book, which does take still quite a bit of some time. But what we can do is, how about this idea? Uh, we do the thing uh, that we hardly ever do. My wealth and resources. That's that page in there. 
So here they can list, they can just list their talents and skills on the second session. So instead of, because the second session, we are not doing the, we're not decorating the treasure box. We are not giving out chocolate. We're just talking about it. But here, maybe we can introduce and during the second session, in, introduce the talents. So they can list it out in here. And then uh, what do you guys think about assigning? Uh, uh, like every session, uh, have like a couple of kids who want to volunteer or assign, somehow get a list of those who want to perform their talents and then assign so they're prepared. Uh, every session throughout the program, uh, two uh, or three kids, if they want to, those who want to, uh, can perform their talents. And this will also encourage the other ones uh, because they see that, oh, uh, my friends are performing their talents, maybe I can do that. What about that idea? I think that's a great idea. And I think we could include the teacher in helping to create that schedule because I do think a lot of students like to be able to prepare for their sharing mm -hmm. as opposed to just kind of each session randomly selecting students and putting them on the spot. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the teachers can be helpful in creating that schedule as and not having students feel forced. Yep. So yeah. I never was suggesting that Students would just be called on arbitrary section. Right? They, would be emailed, they would know it in advance. But I think this is great because it, it's actually, it's not creativity that we're talking about. We're talking about talents and skills as a resource and mm -hmm. part of their wealth, right? Yeah. So that um, it, it, it addresses Jade's concern and at the same time is giving us a way in which to add something to each of our sessions that would have the kids really be engaged. Okay. Yeah, I like it. And we will actually get to use this table. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Barry, give me a little bit. Of... <laughs> All right. I mean, you talk about you talk about creativity might be a little heavy at the beginning. Uh, this one will be would be heavy at the beginning too. Uh, well, you know, I mean, talents, and, and that's why I said we don't have to do this whole table. Just the talents. They can just type in their talents. They can think about it. And, on the first day, we can introduce this. And just tell them that you think about your talents and uh, skills, whatever that is. So step by step, that is all right. Yeah. So we're good on that. Yeah. So I I heard you say, Alex, that Marshall is going to have they already have distributed their paper workbooks. Yeah. Yep. But do we know if Webster is going to have the same? Uh, I'm going to yes, deliver them. them uh, I'm going to deliver them tomorrow, uh, but uh, they didn't know when. We already missed the first distribution that went to, the, to their homes. Uh, they haven't told us when is the next distribution or when do, we, when do they even want to start. So assuming that they want to start doing the same week as uh, Marshall, uh, hopefully they will have uh, another distribution so the books will get um, to their homes. Okay, so in terms of kind of a leader facilitating virtually, the leader is going to be going off of the online workbook, but they're going to have physically the printed workbook in front of them. Yes, yeah. So, okay. so do we want, so uh, let's talk about that. Do we want to, to ask them to have the uh, physical workbook? I guess we could. So, uh, so we could. I think so the less moving around of screens is going to mm -hmm. be easier especially with time when you start having to have them click back and forth yeah and it, it it'll elongate the process for sure so so what do we think i have them um, just like in the classrooms have them fill in the uh, activities in their workbook in the printed workbook and then we just come to the online workbook for the uh, register sure. that sounds good we should at least, we can try it. If it doesn't work, we can always switch. Can we, can we have them to do something ahead of time before the next lesson? I don't know. This is all new to them and to us, but it seems to me they can already be prepared before trying to handle a book or something during the lesson. I don't know. I don't think that would work, Hazel. That's almost like giving them homework. And the teachers are having a real challenge in getting them to do the work that they're supposed to be doing. The other thing that we should be aware of, which totally blew my mind when I, when I was told this, is that they, the teachers only have three hours with these kids yeah. every day. 
and they're willing to give up an hour in one. Oh, I, I, didn't, those I didn't know that. I know I didn't either. Wow, uh, we, we really need to do something for the teachers. <laughs> I mean, either, either they just don't want to deal with the kids. It's like, okay, here's another group of people who are willing to entertain the kids for one hour. <laughs> but uh, well, I think this, they're being very selective as to who's, who's being able to, you know, have access to their kids. I'm but sure. yeah. And, and, I, and I'm so happy that we have these relationships. We are not just going. To, this is this is good. I, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, so, so that's something that we need to just uh, stay flexible with. You know, as always, let's stay flexible, see how it goes, uh, a lot of what we were talking about. But I think what we can do is have, uh, oh, for those of you who are just joining, this is our new muscle person. So finally, <laughs> we got rid of the muscle man. and have a muscle, gender neutral. Gender neutral, muscle figure, muscle person, whatever you want to call that thing. So, uh, so for example, when we are presenting the human treasures, we can have this on the screen and then uh, they will see, well, they won't see um, what I can do for this group uh, because they don't see these guys, these, uh, the diamonds are not in their workbook. The workbooks that they're using is from uh, last year. So they were already printed. Um, I, can, I can do something else. So they would be seeing exactly what's in their workbook. And yeah, that's, that's my concern uh, that if we use the hard copy, had the students use the hard copy workbooks exclusively, mm -hmm. and then what we would be showing on the screen would be the online. I mean, we may have to go back to showing, showing the hard copy workbook on the screen as well, just to be consistent. So then you would have to scan the entire printed workbook into an online version. But, but this is, I mean, this is how, it, this is the, this is the printed workbook. I'm not looking at the online. This is the soft copy of the printed workbook. He's Which, just saying it's an older version, Barry. Yeah. We, we will use the same version as they have. We will not use this one that has the diamonds in it. Uh, we will but, use the older version. And we, would have, and we would have access to this, right? Yes. The yeah. Their, their workbook will be, and, and the facilitated workbook will be pointing to the older version, not this one. Yeah, definitely. We can. But I have a question, like, even with something like this, is it that, I mean, is it really that different? And what we gain in giving them a picture of what we are trying to teach, isn't that worth, if, even though it's in our class, our book, because they do know that the teacher book, you know, a lot of times will be different than the student book. I mean, I don't, I, I think, I think that visual is really useful, Alex. So it is, it is, but I'm afraid that they were going to say, well, I don't have this in my workbook. Uh, that's that's my only worry. Or once we get, once we get to the muscle figure, it's like, oh, I have a muscle man. I don't have. Okay. That, that's, my, that's my only worry. Okay. Look so I do have I do have something because this is not a fillable PDF, right, Alex? No, no, it's not. Uh -uh. Yeah. So in terms of providing kids with examples to be able to follow along, I think that's a much bigger issue, which is what I was saying. The online workbook, when okay. we pull up the activities, we give it. Well, I know when I teach, I give examples, like, mm -hmm. for instance, of what I want them to do in the activity so that they would have something to go off of. Yeah. On this, if we're working off of this workbook, we're not going to be able to write in anything. Yeah, that was fine. Uh, I can, uh, uh, Microsoft yeah. Word is not that easy to work with on writing over. I mean, we can have the Microsoft Word version of this. I can provide that. But then it's not like a whiteboard that you can just write on. No, which is why I was saying the on like for I think if we work from the online workbook where we can, uh -huh. it's not going to look like the page that they're turning to in their workbook. Okay. But I think from a feasibility standpoint, it allows us the ability to type in. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I I agree with Jade. I mean, in the past, we've had times where the kids. I mean, when we're doing an online book but they're in a paper book, there are some differences, uh -huh. but we, we, we're pretty much able to address that in the class and we're able then to use the online book to help them actually do the, do the activity. Uh -huh. I see. I think we lose a lot by switching to just a PDF of the exact same book they're in. Okay. Yeah, I agree. All right, so, so we'll just use the online, uh, even though that it looks different, they're different, but it does, it does follow and then, 
And then because of that, then the diamonds can stay in there because it's obviously a different version. It's not, okay, so we're, we're good with that. All right. Uh, all right, uh, we talked about creativity, class rules. Uh, I think we talked about that. Uh, just uh, the assistants would be responsible for muting or unmuting um, the students as, as needed. Uh, have students and speaker uh, gallery view. Uh, I, think, I think that's what we talked about. So the uh, facilitators, the lead will be presenting the online workbook. So that's, that's what we were doing. Uh, can students access their workbook? I think no. I think that's the answer to this one is no. That was a suggestion. So they, we will not ask them to pull up their online workbook until the register. Is that correct? Yeah, I don't know. Do we want to reconsider that? Because, I mean, when we've done the program in person, uh, if it, if it was online, then they did it all online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they only used the hard copy for like the take home sheets and the um, um, like the muscle street. man or, or something like that. That was more, right. you know, drawing, drawing the community, mm -hmm. something like that. That was all they were using the workbook for anyway. I so, actually so. taught different. I was having students do the activities in the workbook just because it's easier from a management standpoint if I am having them do everything in the workbook and then put the workbooks away and then do the register book, as opposed to distractions of having long periods of time with the laptops out. Well, well yeah, I, I, was, I was definitely using the online workbook and going to the hard copy book as needed. Um, and yeah, we were just going back and forth, but with, because we aren't going to be in the same room with them now, we aren't going to know what they're doing anyway. <laughs> Wait a minute, because if it's online, then we can see what they're doing. I mean, we exactly. won't be able to see it exactly. during the class, but we could see right. it afterwards, right? Right. Yeah, that is the best way for us to actually see who, who kind of got it or whether we need to maybe, if everyone didn't do something, we might want to know that, okay, now we need to review that at the beginning of the next session or something. Yeah. So, that's so in order to do that, you would have to be able to teach them how to maneuver between Zoom and the online workbook, which adults have huge challenges of maneuvering Zoom and other things, yeah. multitasking. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if third and fourth graders are going to have the ability to do that, um, to they're move probably, back and forth. They're probably, and they're probably faster at doing it than adults. <laughs> that, that, uh, so, so let us ask uh, the two teachers this afternoon uh, and see if they have done, how have they done it? Or I think a lot of teachers last year toward the end, they would just present the material and give the concepts and then actually ask the parents and the kids to do it. Uh, we can ask them to see if they have done anything like that, have both Zoom and uh, anything online open at the same time. If they say, no, we haven't done it, it's like, do we want to do it? Um, yeah. Does it work? Um, I think it's it's, uh, it's going to be real different, Alex, between the Webster teacher okay. and the Marshall, Marshall teacher. All right. So I think we should actually, you know, go back and ask um, okay. the Marshall teachers as well. Yep. My suspicion is that they are more facile with the online and would then have their students be more involved online. Okay. But but then since they are just doing yeah, since they're doing only three hours a day and that's what they were doing previously also. Uh did they so let's find out. Let's find out Barry if you can ask uh Marshall teachers see how they did it and then we'll ask this afternoon from Webster see how they did it. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna be probably trial and error um to see what works best. Uh we'll make the adjustment as needed. Okay. Uh, um, Marshall, we haven't decided on what time Marshall will do it. It is. Yes, we know Marshall is 10, a, 10 to 11 a.m. Oh, that's Marshall. Yeah. Okay. That's Marshall. Yeah. That's Marshall. Webster is the one we don't know about. Say that again? I said Webster is the one we don't know about the time. Yep, that's correct. Well, it's to be confirmed. Um, what my understanding is, is what list, uh, Alex listed for Monday. Two to three, I think you said that, right, Alex? Yep. All right. Uh, so next, next item kind of follow through with this one. Uh, the teachers at Marshall, 
uh, they did talk about possibly trying to do breakout rooms. They did not use it last, uh, last year, uh, but they said we might. So that could be a possibility. Uh, it's, uh, again, unknown at this point. If that works, uh, we may add on facilitators uh, to, to the group. We'll just have to see how, how that works. That's an unknown at this point. Uh, I think we talked about the next one. What do we do? Can students have their own registered book open? Phil, that is, uh, again, part of that discussion. Should we show videos? Okay, videos. Uh, what do we think about uh, videos? In class or outside? In class. Okay. In class. All right, done. I think, I think that's the general. Yeah, because for our adult virtual sessions, we didn't do them because we knew that they were going to watch the videos. But for um, for the schools, yeah, I think it's a good idea to uh, do. What was Mrs. Inslee's suggestion? Mm -hmm. um, to use Google um, a Classroom and actually have the link to the videos there, along with questions uh, for them to address before of okay. watching the video, and then again after watching the video. Well, okay. then that she can tie it into some other teaching points that she's trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, Undoubtedly, because she's very, very good about doing that. Yeah, that, I, I, I knew what she was going after there. Um, That's, but, that is a great idea. But I think it's, it's something that we have to be careful with because as I said, these kids are, are being given work in addition to what you know, they actually are uh, accomplishing yeah. online to do. And for us to add anything more to that, I don't think will work. I really don't. Yeah. So let's let's at least I mean try the the videos are short uh, and again depending on how much we can accomplish I think it's a good idea to do the videos while we are on with the kids uh, mm -hmm. that is something else that will grab their attention again remember we can't just be preaching to them presenting lecturing to them for the whole hour and we have to somehow either have them do stuff on their workbook uh, printed workbook or on the online. If the online uh, having the Zoom call and then also them opening up their workbook doesn't work, then um, I guess we'll have to use the printed workbook and uh, using showing the videos. That will that should be a good one. You know, I have a question: Are there cameras going to be on? Yes. Yep. Yes. Uh, yep. Yep. So we can. Okay. See. So from an engagement standpoint, um, you can call on students to show in the physical workbook. Mm -hmm. their activities in the sharing process, Great. right? So that yeah. way, uh, I think this addresses Nari's point in terms of making, kind of keeping them engaged, following along, making sure people are um, staying on task with the activity, um, which you wouldn't have to follow along afterwards on, from the online workbook standpoint. You could just do it while you're in the class through class engagement. Yep, yep. We yeah. could also do the same thing as facilitators and, and setting up examples in a hard copy workbook, writing it in, mm -hmm. showing it to the camera. Sure. Yeah. That, that's an idea. That, mm -hmm. that is a good one. Uh, Jed, the bigger question is that, are you going to use your camera? So are you gonna For the students? Yeah, that's fine. Because <laughs> you're always camera shy. No, I'm not camera shy. It's just, I, there's, there, there's no need for the camera from a bandwidth standpoint. There's no reason to use it. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm not showing or presenting you guys anything. <laughs> I, well, we would we, love to see your face. I mean, that. At some point, I will turn the camera on. Don't okay. worry. All right. Just, just making sure. I mean, it does sound like you, but we really don't know if it's you or someone else. I mean, I, I think everyone knows it's me. I don't think anyone has any doubts <laughs> that it's somebody well, else impersonating me. <laughs> Jay is like some of those people that's on the TV now. <laughs> they forget that they don't have on the damn pajamas on or top on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Judy, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, yeah Miss Judy. What are you doing, Judy? Miss Judy, you gotta have your camera off, man. I mean, we see your yeah. what's going on there. That's like, what be careful what you asked for, Alex. <laughs> but can you see me? Can yes, you see can me? We, we can see your legs, ma'am. Well, that's why me? we asked you. Yes, today. yes, you. Where's my camera? Where, where are camera? What, are, what are you pointing at? So, <laughs> so whoever is leading with Miss Judy, make sure her camera is off. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? So the what? video recording just has you, right, Alex? It's not going to capture 
No, it is, it, it is everyone. It's, it's everyone. So, uh, Irma you, you can and... See uh, me? Oh, we, see the floor, we see your feet and the floor. No, you got you got to switch your camera. You have your camera. The uh, yeah, yeah I think and all of your paper. Around. I don't know. What you do. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm there, just, you there you go. There you oh, go. Oh, happy point toward me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wow. What a concept! But I can't see you guys. With, never mind. Never mind. Oh, oh JB, <laughs> I'll come and help you. You you need to. There's a button you can click, and it shows little blocks, and then you can see everyone else. You got the gallery view or the right. speaker view. Right. Yeah, she's gone. Now we all can't right. see it's, you at all. It's, it's we just see your name. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. okay. Earlier uh, when I was blocked, it was because I was finishing my late lunch. Because oh. I realized, oh, I thought the meeting was at 2.30. My daughter's like, I feel like you said it was at 2 o'clock. I'm like, no. I thought, you said three. I thought you said 3 o'clock. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> And so I was like, okay, well, let me at least turn it on while I finish eating so, cause, so I can not miss any more. But I, but I texted you. I texted you early on. And didn't you see my text? I did see your text, Alex. That doesn't mean anything when I'm in the midst of like my running. So once I start running during the day, yeah. That shows how much, uh, well, that, that's great. You know, that's the way I want to be known. It's like, ah, it's just Alex. Don't worry about it. You know? No, uh, who, who I thought it, in my mind, I thought I had it under control. I was like, uh, okay, look my That's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, is there anything else you guys can think of uh, we need to discuss uh, for this term? This is going to be an interesting term. I um, I think that we need to have ground rules. I don't, I don't want them called that. I don't know how to present them, but that there's an understanding then uh, of the students, uh, so the students know what we expect of them. Mm -hmm. um, one that comes immediately to mind is about using the chat. That they only use the chat when requested of them. So, so did you? So, did you uh, log in into any of the presentations at Porter? Did you do any of those, Barry? Well, I did the the, the last one for the talent show. Yeah, for the talent show. I thought the few that I'd logged into, I thought the kids were very well. I mean, they they had a, they were not jumping uh, into discussions or things. It was like when they were when their names were called. Um, so I think they were pretty well behaved. Uh, and you can also manage the chat where you can disable it and enable it during periods of time. So it could be disabled while you're teaching, instructing, and then you can enable it when you want discussion to happen. I understand that, but what I'm saying is that something needs to be communicated to the students for, well, I just think it's a good idea for people to know what's expected of them, even if- So, so Barry, what are the expectations that you're, what, what are the, ex the specific expectations that you're, that you're referring to? Well, that's why I'm bringing it up. I don't know that we are clear about that. And I think it'd be a good idea for us to be clear about that and to, to, you know, to, um, to express So what do you suggest, so what do you suggest they be? I, I honestly don't know what you're referring to. I just want to understand. Well, the one that I've already brought up in regard to the chat room. So I know Hazel has a set of expectations that she always has for her classroom. She sets it right up front. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know how the virtual self versus the in person. I'm not sure. But the only thing that comes to mind, but if we can mute them, it's it's no big deal, I guess. But they can't just talk on their own, right? Yeah. I don't. I, yeah. You don't have the mute capability in person, so that is a plus of virtual. You can't just like tell, turn them off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Ms. Lee said. She said a discipline is not a problem virtually. It's yeah. patient is what is is the challenge. And and also you don't have them sitting next to each other and chit chatting. That is something that has been taken care of too. Uh, I mean, they can chit chat through chat, but uh, not uh, through calls. So I think a lot of uh, the regular challenges that we have in the classroom is not going to be here. It's just going to be new stuff that we don't even know what what's going to happen. Uh, so, but but the best thing like is they're playing Minecraft during the middle of Mine Treasures. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, I think things will come up as we go along, and we have to address it as we yeah. as we see it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Anything else? I just have a question. I don't know. My computer is perfect now. Okay. But at the beginning, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I kept it kept going in and out saying, 
connected, connecting, and it would come back, come back, back and forth. So the Lord only knows. I'm just telling you up okay. front. I don't know I'll, what the deal is. I'll I'll make sure that I'm in. Uh, let's see. Let's look at Nari. You're okay with a teaching at uh, Marshall, right? I think you said you're available. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, yeah. I think I was pretty much available whenever you needed me. So, okay. Yeah, All right. So so let's do this. So let's look at the schedule. So I got Irma and Nari uh, being lead on uh, for Marshall, and then uh, let's see. Do you guys? How do we want to do the three of you guys? Jade, Hazel, and Barry volunteer to do. I'll not put their names in for uh, Webster. Uh, you guys, you guys go right ahead because, like I said. My computer keeps saying Java this and Java. I don't know what that is. So okay. you guys right. go right ahead. I'm okay. Okay. All right. So I think that that takes care of that part. So I got Barry and Jade uh, doing Webster. Uh, and then we'll make sure that uh, the assignment for the assistants or everybody gets, we'll, we'll need to have at least one person as assistant in every classroom, maybe even more. We'll just see. But I'll make sure that everyone is assigned uh, to a task. Okay. So that takes care of that. Anything else you guys can think of? No, that, that's silent. Okay. Silence is good. Silent, silent, silence is good. So uh, for, I mean, it is recorded, but just going back, uh, uh, Barry has been approaching a lot of, let's just talk a little bit about those. We've been approaching a lot of different organizations to offer them free virtual classes and no takers at this point. It's just amazing. Uh, I, there, there was one organization in LA. Uh, uh, Crystal Stairs. Uh, Crystal Stairs that uh, Barry had been involved. They approached us back in May, I think. I did one hour teaser session for them. They loved it. The part, they had like 40 participants. They loved it, but they haven't decided to do anything either. Locally, there's been several organizations that Barry has approached, I have approached. I offered our virtual classes at no cost to everyone who's involved at Care Center. Now, I know everybody is involved with COVID and trying to adjust with those. So uh, nothing outside of that. Uh, internationally, I'm still working with a lot of people. Uh, there are a couple of things that are happening. Uh, there's a lady, there's a prof college professor who's worked a lot of different places. She contacted us. She's uh, in Omaha, Nebraska. She's going to start with a pilot program with a few middle schoolers. Uh, there's a lady in Toronto. She approached us. She has designed an app uh, to help parents uh, teach finances to kids. Her thing was that she would, through the app, parents will assign different tasks for the kids to do, and then parents will check off but she wanted a formal education to be added in there. So I'm talking with her. Uh, we'll see how that's going to plan. Uh, uh, in Africa, I'm still, this week there was somebody approached us from Ghana who wants to go and do a, pr a proposal to the Ministry of Agriculture for financial liberty for farmers. So I'm putting him in touch with the group that we did the class for uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on in the background. Nothing solid yet. As soon as anything becomes solid, I'll let everybody know. On the funding uh, era, uh, as I think I had shared for the 2020-2021 uh, frame, we have enough funding. I think it was for 800, but we'll have to see how the virtual stuff works. Uh, we have we did lose one of our sponsors, uh, out out of state sponsors. But they were having, uh, they, they wanted some crazy stuff. I knew that it was, it was expected it was coming. Um, our largest sponsor here in San Diego, the DA's office, I just asked them again. I said, is there funding for next year? Uh, but we won't know. This was the same thing last year. Last year, they didn't know until a week before they awarded funding. Uh, so if you guys can think of uh, any place still, um, I think we, are, uh, we can offer a free, set, free full series to anyone who wants to do it virtually because now people are used to virtual sessions. So if you know of any groups, like the group that Nari put together, the couple of families, which I think, did any of them finish the class, Nari? I don't think they did because they're moving. And I don't think they, no, they didn't. Like yeah. I've, I've actually been following up with them on cer certain things, especially, okay. um, but no, they did not complete the class. But they did, a couple of them did go back and watch some recordings that I told them, you really need to, you know, go and watch this because you were saying this was an issue. 
And so, yeah, I've been, re I've been doing some follow-up with them. Yep. So. Yeah, the the follow-up, uh, talking about follow-up. So our uh, family, the Woods family in uh, London, I'm still uh, in touch with them every month. Uh, Kemi has done a great job of uh, tracking their income and expenses, and they just keep on sending. It's like, Alex, we can't thank you enough. Thank you and the team enough for uh, showing us how to do this. They got rid of half of their credit, uh, their debt, this credit card debt and a bunch of other ones. So they're mm -hmm. doing that. Uh, Emmanuel, who was the organizer in Ghana, I'm working, I've been working, he has, he has taken responsibility for their family uh, finances. So I see them, how they are doing. Uh, so those are the only two that are actually doing uh, the program. One other way that I started with one of my friends, uh, there's a young lady, um, she said, um, yeah, I want to do it, but I don't know when I'm available, when I'm not. I said, okay, here's how we're going to do it. I will create an online workbook for you. We have all the sessions recorded. I will give you assignments. So I'll give you an assignment. You watch the recording. And then when you do those, then I'll give you the next assignment and the next recording. So she's doing that like one lesson every week and a half or two weeks or so. That is another way. If individuals are interested, we can do that. Uh, but then it, it's up to them. You're not organizing any kind of class. The good thing is that all the sessions have been recorded and we can share that with people. It's just a matter of them having a drive to learn this education. So I have a thought that came up that has nothing to do with what you are talking about, but is in regards to <laughs> Webster and Marshall. <laughs> well, that's fine. I love you, Jade. <laughs> um, well, I, I, this is something that we didn't address, and I think it, it could hugely affect, and I didn't think of it at the time. So um, this is why I know that everybody knows that I'm not impersonating. I myself speak. You guys all know how I speak. So um, <laughs> anyways, um, portions of classrooms, schools, district is giving parents options of returning in person, hybrid, things like that. Has that been brought up into the conversations at both Marshall and um, Webster in terms of if any of their students are partaking in that or is everybody going to be 100% virtual for the entire program? Well, we can't say for the entire program, but they're definitely 100% a virtual for right now yes okay all right remind me again is it for, how, how long is it the virtual for nine places is it for a week or as long as they like we normally Twelve do? sessions huh yeah. same 12 sessions well probably 11 right because we won't have the, the final oh we could have the final i mean we could still have the presentation that was something that i thought about we could have done uh last year uh but, but it was so chaotic that it was, it was going to be too much. We still could have the final um, session in there, uh, depending on how it goes. I think we need to just stay flexible on what we do. Yeah. OK, I just was curious to know if that was brought up into the conversations at all, because I mean, I know it's a day by day process. And some schools are like phasing in one grade at a time. And so I was like, oh, wait, how is this going to affect? Probably, even if they come back into their classroom, I think uh, chances of allowing us to go back to the classrooms might be low, especially if they are, I don't know, it's, it's up for, we'll just have to see what happens. It could be either way. Yeah, I was saying that maybe the likelihood could be that we would continue ours online regardless because they'll limit who can come onto the campus. Yeah, okay. You know, that makes sense. Resources. Yeah. All right. Any other thoughts? Anything else? You're okay. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm good. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we'll let you know uh, by tomorrow what's happening with Webster, and then uh, we'll get get started. I we know Marshall is going to start on the 24th. Hopefully, Webster will um, do the same thing, and just we go from there.